1971, 19-year-old Melbourne University student Anthony Janain wrote, directed and produced Sympathy in Summer. It was inspired by the then contemporary works of Goddard, Truffaut and René. That film appears to be unavailable or lost, sharing a kinship of Tim Burstall's 1969 masterpiece for 10,000 weeks. Similar to Tim Burstall, Anthony Ginane would appear to have been beset by a sudden insecurity at the mockery of others. Am I, and all other prospective auteurs, just indulgent narcissistic fools? Maybe, but that wouldn't necessarily preclude the composition of interesting films, in my opinion. Burstall became famous, or infamous rather, for helming pioneering those perverse sex comedies which our film industry produced during the 1970s, miring in exploitation cynicism and throwing away the arthouse baton that was apparently picked up and subsequently wielded by Peter Weir, for example. Janine would follow a very similar path to Burstall as the decade unfurled, though producing rather than directing films for Australia's exploitation circuit, with international distribution also an occasional consideration. 1979's Snapshot is certainly one of the better of these productions, a morbid, ably directed, thanks Simon Winsor I guess, proto slasher slash slasher picture. Reminding me of one of those old Herschel Gordon Lewis titles, say 1963's Scum of the Earth, Snapshot is a little bit like one of those dark side of the countercultural, seedy sexually exploitative underworld titles, remember 1970's The Hard Road, although with the thriller bracket clearly in mind. Not a film with a message so much as a film with ugly content and disturbing subject matter, Snapshot is an engaging, mostly admirable slice of Australian horror slash thriller. And make sure you watch the entire film before you dismiss it. Just to clarify, I am viewing what is considered the Australian cut. The international cut is abridged, although I believe the edits were made not for censorious reasons, but rather to remove excessive character development earlier in the film. Any horror fans interested in something from Australia, especially the proto slasher or on the cusp of slasher 78 to 81 variety, this is nice stuff.